Hey, how you doing? It's Craig to here. And in this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the brand new Aurora HDR 2018. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to import a five image sequence. So I shot this on the Canon 5D Mark III in Monument Valley, and it's five different exposures. So I'm just going to click on these here, and I'm going to import these all, and then I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to do this. So this is available at the time of this video for pre-order. I believe it's a 60% discount. I'll put a link below this video where you can pre-order Aurora HDR 2018. All right, you can see the different exposures. You can see we're minus 1.6, minus 0 0.6. You get the idea. There's five different exposures. I shot this on the Canon 5D Mark III with the 24 to 70 Mark II lens at 24 millimeter on a tripod. I'm going to check the alignment box just to make sure that the alignment is good on all those images. You can see here I've got color denoise checked and chromatic aberration removal. And then I'm going to create HDR and then I'm going to pause that while that's processing. All right, so the software's taken those five images and merged them together and applied a preset for us. So looking at the top, you can see here, if I click on the eyeball there, you can see what it looks like before and that's after. And then right here beside it, it's a split screen. So this is great because sometimes when you get excited and you're retouching, you often go a little bit too far. This gives you a quick way to check and say, hey, what did the original look like? Okay, I'm still good. So you could just click on either of those to get an idea of what it looked like before and after. It's super helpful. Now, there's a whole bunch of presets in here. I'll walk you through some of them and through some of the adjustments, but it's a newly designed interface. And it really reminds me a lot of Lightroom. So let's start over here on the top right. You can see here's our histogram. On the left is the darks. To the right is the brights. You can see we have an opacity layer here that if you click on it, you can adjust the opacity, just like a layer in Photoshop. Now, what's great about Aurora HDR 2018 is you can use it as a standalone program to just work on HDR images, but you can also use it as a plugin in Photoshop or in Lightroom, which is awesome. So let's go over here. What I like about the presets is it gives you a starting point, so a place to start. So you can go through some of these and find out something that you like. I think that's a little too intense right there. Oh, that's not so bad. It's a little calmer. Click here. Just gives you an idea. I think that's too bright. Here's deep sky. Oh, I think that's too deep. Here's our HDR look. So basically you can play with these presets to you get a look that's close to what you want. And then you could say, hey, that's pretty close. Let's just tweak it from here. So we'll just start here. We're at HDR look one. And again, if we go up to the eyeball, you can see what it looked like before. You can see what it looks like after. It's a little bit too HDR-ish. For me in my opinion now let's go over here to the right so you see we have some controls hdr basic now these are a lot like controls you would see in lightroom or photoshop and you can see we have our white balance we could choose a shot or we could cool it down or warm it up if we go to the left it'll be more blue a little bit more yellow on the right and with the tint a little bit more green to the left a little bit more magenta to the right i don't want to adjust my color temperature or tint or my exposure but you have all these controls that you can easily adjust just by sliding left or right. You can see we have highlight shadows, whites, or blacks. Also, we have color. I think the saturation maybe is a little bit too much. Let's go down to about maybe 10. Still maybe a little too much. Let's go down a little lower. Let's say, let's say four. And then if I do the before and after, it's still a little too HDR for me. <laughs> but I can take the amount down too. I can just take that down. So let's say we go to 16. And I can just really adjust everything. Now, what's great about this is I've never seen a software program that had so many different types of controls to allow you to control every aspect of your HDR image. It's really impressive. You can see, like I said, we have our saturation, our vibrance, our color contrast, our HDR structure, our HDR denoise, image radiance, a polarizing filter. So this can bring more blues into the sky. So you can see as I bring that to the left, and then as I bring it over to the right, see how we're bringing some more blues and enhancing the sky, sort of cutting through some of that haze. So that's a pretty cool feature there. And you can see we've got HDR details boost, small, medium, and large. We've got glow. We've got top and bottom tuning. You can see we have individual controls here. We have tone curves for people who like to just manually create tone curves. We have our HSL, so you can adjust the hue, the saturation, and the luminance with all the different colors. We have color toning. We have dodge and burn, which is great if the sky's a little too bright and you just want to bring that down. We have vignette. So there's a wide range of controls. I've never seen so many different controls to create an awesome looking HDR image.
This is a quick look and a sneak peek. I'm going to create further tutorials where I'll walk you through really fine tuning an image. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel at all, make sure you click on subscribe right now so that you get updates about those videos as they're released. Just below this video, you'll see a link to pre-order. Click on that link and you can pre-order Aurora HDR 2018. All right, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below before you go. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.